Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile, Review and Analysis. Welcome! So today we will be talking about Croatia's representative to Miss Universe 2022 and also please stay tuned because at the end of the video I will be adding Croatia on our current leaderboard so that we will be able to know where she lands on our current ranking so far in our list of favorites for Miss Universe 2022. But before we talk about their representative this year, let's talk about the performance of Croatia in the last 10 editions of Miss Universe and that was in 2012 to 2021. So from tw so in 2012 with Elisabetta Borg, Croatia has placed and finished in the top 16. In 2017, they also placed with Chanel Petty, who finished in the top 16 as well. And in the last 10 years, both of these placements, 2012 and 2017, is their highest placement. And in 2019, their most recent placement, Mia Rachman, finished in the top 20. This year, they just crowned Ariana Podgajski. And before we continue, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account and which I will be posting at the bottom part of the screen and it is at Ariana Podgajski so that we could be able to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Now, Ariana is 19 years old and she can speak Croatian and English. For the national pageant, for her swimsuit, I actually like her. I think she is one of the prettiest candidates that we have this year. Very girl next door type of beauty, very sweet and innocent looking. And her figure during swimsuit round was great too. For her walk, it wasn't that bad at all. I actually think that it was good. I actually see some huge potentials for her to make it stronger and better. And if handled by the right team, she could actually deliver a very strong swimsuit performance. For the evening gown, I don't like the gown very much, but the positive thing about it is that the simplicity of the dress gave emphasis to her beauty. You don't need to focus on the dress anymore. All the attention goes to her stunning face. And in a way, it worked. As of now, I would consider Croatia as a real dark horse in the competition. And since I didn't understand the Q&A, I'm not yet sure at how she does in interviews. However, this is someone we need to watch out for because she can suddenly emerge as a strong contender or even one of the good ones anytime. Also, as of this time, her social media doesn't have much. So here's a shout out to her that hopefully she'll post more and give us more updates about her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Having said that, Croatia is the 12th candidate that we have reviewed for Miss Universe and here's my current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. My number 12 goes to Kazakhstan, 11 for Mauritius, 10 Canada, 9 Korea, number 8 Malta, and I'll put Croatia at number 7 as of the moment. Number 6 goes to Ghana, 5 for Dominican Republic, 4 Mexico, 3 for Venezuela, 2 for Philippines, and my current number 1 is Colombia. And if you haven't seen my reviews for these candidates, they're already uploaded on my YouTube channel so you can just go ahead and check them out. So what do you think of Croatia? Do you think that she could be a dark horse in this competition? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.